Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Scrap Mechanic, or should we say episode, or maybe we're gonna say channel update, slash uh, nostalgia trip, that's really what this is gonna be. So, uh, for my long time viewers, and I mean people that have been with the channel probably close to two years, you probably know what this is. Yes, folks, that is the uh, the town 1.0. This is basically where my channel got somewhat popular here on YouTube. So, you're probably asking yourself, well, why are we here? And it's a little bit to do with Scrap Mechanic, a little bit to do with the channel itself. Now, if you've paid attention to my channel, which I'm pretty sure if you've clicked on this video, there's a chance you have, uh, you've noticed there hasn't really been much Scrap Mechanic in the past, I would say, couple weeks, really. And the last thing I did was the, uh, the Camping Trip Multiplayer Monday. So, why has there not been a lot of Scrap Mechanic? Well, this might surprise some of you guys, but Scrap Mechanic has now become my lowest viewed series on the channel. And we're talking it's below stuff like Wreckfest, uh, Beam and G, stuff like that. Like my channel, I would say the profile of my channel has changed. We've gone more in different directions with Brick Rigs, Beam and G, uh, Stormworks, stuff like that. We've become a little bit more of a variety channel, even though we kind of still stick around the same game. So I don't want to say like, hey, we play a new game each month. But we've changed a lot is basically what I'm getting at. So. That kind of explains the lack of Scrap Mechanic. Uh, these builds, these things that I've done uh, in Scrap Mechanic, especially like this town, this took a long amount of time. Uh, I used to upload about three videos a week, and they were all Scrap Mechanic. We were just a Scrap Mechanic only channel. I would upload as many of these town builds as possible, and that was it. Uh, simpler times, we'll call it that. So, uh, we're going to kind of go on a little tour here of the town, since it is over two years since this was built. Kind of hard to believe. Now, I was going to pull out the underwater base, but that thing is broken. Like, uh, we're coming up on the one-year anniversary of it. Actually, we're a little past it, actually. And it is broken, so sorry about that. We're not going to see the underwater base here today. So, we're at the, uh, the old car dealership. This was made right around May of 2016. This whole street was. Uh, this started off with the uh, the weld tool update, which there's my old red truck. Uh, the solid axle. That was something I wanted to do with that weld tool. And, ooh, that thing is hideous, and it almost hits the top of the shop. So, let's go ahead, do a little tour here, talk a little bit about Scrap Mechanic's future on the channel, and other things. Uh, now, I think this town, hmm, if I had to guess, this town probably was right around, or ended probably right around the 50 or 60,000 subscriber mark. And we still did Scrap Mechanic beyond that, but that's about, as far as my subs, that's who saw this. Or who, uh kind of grew with this series. By the way, we're about to head into, uh, I think this is Napa. Yeah, Napa Auto Parts store. Kind of check this place out. Pretty cool little inside of this. I didn't stick lights in any of this, did I? Huh. Oh, you know what? A lot of this was actually before the, uh, the lights actually made a difference. That's why there's not lights in a lot of these buildings. That's kind of crazy. So you're probably noticing some other things like the uh, the whole fact that ugly glass is still in all of these buildings. Uh, there's post office, barber shop, Going down to the uh, Starbucks. What's inside of this building look like? Kind of have to refresh my brain. I'm having this weird nostalgia trip right now, so uh, I actually kind of am surprised by some of this. <laughs> I'm not used to seeing a lot of this. So, um, anyways, I haven't been building a lot on Scrap Mechanic as of recent, and it's really, it's all due to time constraints. A little bit of lack of interest. Like, uh, when Scrap Mechanic first came out, it was 2016, right around January or February, I believe. Right when I started my channel, really. And it was like, alright, we've got creative mode, we're gonna get, get to set here and build, and then Survival's gonna come out. Well, obviously Survival hasn't come out yet, and it's really the devs are working on it. We're getting fantastic uh, little blog posts and updates about it. So I really do look forward to Survival, but... I kind of saw, like, the writing on the wall, like, okay, Scrap Mechanic's just not doing well. It wasn't even doing well when I was building, towards the tail end, uh, the Micro City stuff. So, that's why I was kind of like, alright, let's pull back the reins, let's go to Creations and Multiplayer Monday. And, well, Multiplayer Monday itself is my lowest rated series. Like, my creation videos on Scrap Mechanic uh, do decent, actually. Uh, this is a, what is this? Is this a ice cream shop? Okay, ice cream. Uh, I think me and Mr. Non-Newtonian built this. I believe so. Yeah, it's kind of really convenient, right? Like, 
across from a, a junkyard. Okay. A little strange. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot. It's a little press over here. I'm going to get to play with some of these things again. Ah, that's kind of cool. All right. So, uh, where is Multiplayer Monday? I, obviously, I wasn't there last week. I don't think I'll be there this week. Uh, it's uh, Also, it's kind of a, it's a scheduling conflict this week, really, uh, the day I think they're going to record it. And it, it's really nothing against the guys. Like, it's I love playing with the guys. They're fun. Scrapman, Khan, uh, occasionally Moombo whenever he's there. And that's, that's always fun. It, it's nothing there. So if anybody's searching for like, hey, why are you not playing with them? Is it, you don't like Scrapman anymore? It's like, no, no, I, I like the guys. It's just really, I have to look out, you know, what's best for the channel. What's, you know, what's doing good on the channel. And if people weren't viewing a certain series, most YouTubers would just completely drop it. Uh, which, by the way, we're by the car wash and the bank. Uh, the bank episode is probably one of my favorite episodes of the old town. Uh, it is probably the most popular episode. Let's go check this one out real quick. So, Multiplayer Monday's in a holding pattern for me. I, I don't know what I'm going to do with it, and I, I probably need to make a, a final decision here soon of whether or not I'm going to continue it or, you know, what what I'm really going to do. Maybe I'll just show up as, you know, whenever I can. Uh, I'm not really sure. What do you guys think? I mean, this all comes down to you guys, the viewers, which this is a really awesome fault, and it's stuck. Oh, it actually, I forgot it turned, so... That should probably go in a little bit different order, should it not? Or did it get stuck? I think it got stuck on. Huh? It's a scrap mechanic deal. Let's go ahead. Let's go. Uh, nope. Okay. <laughs> vault is broken. Very useless vault. Okay. You can see inside got some gold and stuff in there. Very cool building. Uh, kind of reminds me a little bit of the uh, the payday bank. Uh, oh, yeah. Definitely. I think that's actually what I was going for. And here's a car wash over here. This is cool. You can run cars there. Utilize the sensors to kind of uh, move the little nozzles around, the rollers around. Uh, cool stuff here. So, uh, Multiplayer Monday uh, holding pattern right now. We're going to call it that. Uh, I'll see what's going on with that and see how I want to continue that. Or maybe I'll just play with the guys and not release. I really don't know what you guys want to see there. And that's uh, also here with scrap mechanic as a whole because most people or most youtubers when a series just kind of dies out or the series isn't doing good i wouldn't say it's dead it still does decent uh but when a series is dead they just drop it most of them do and i'm not quite prepared to do that because of scrap mechanic being kind of the the game i started with and what really started my youtube i guess you could say career uh, so I, I don't want to just straight up drop it. And I know once survival comes out, I mean, I'm going to be all over that. But I, I still want something to do with it in between then. Because I don't really know when survival is going to be out. So by the way, this is a school. This was uh, three episodes. Uh, this is the first episode was the main building. This is a... Uh, wow, that glass is so ugly. <laughs> Might as well get the spud gun out and start knocking out windows here. Uh, you've got the main area here. Looks like cafeteria over there. Oh, you can actually see the little warmers on. We got classrooms, uh, bathrooms. I think this is a, a library up here, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there's a library up here. And then we kind of go out the back. More classrooms. I can't tell you how long I spent on these buildings. Like, uh, I used to work at a hotel, and I was l fortunate enough to be able to bring my laptop up there. And I would play Scrap Mechanic up there and do builds. So I would build, I would work most times uh, 3 to 11, and I would get up there, you know, as soon as I got a little bit of my work done, all right, I'm pulling out the laptop, and it was a front desk job, so I didn't really have much to do, and I would sit there and play Scrap Mechanic and try to knock out builds, that way I can go home, film them, and get them uploaded to you guys. Uh, this is a art and science room, I believe, like a little separate building, you know, science room and art class, yep, all right, let's go over here, so... Uh, like I was saying, you know, do we want to do another community build, a new series? You know, we've had... Let me go through the series real quick. We've had the town, had the uh, theme park, which didn't last that long. We had some mini builds, like a NASCAR track and stuff like that. Uh, we had the underwater base, uh, which lasted a good while. Uh, the Micro City, which was the most recent thing, obviously. If you uh, That actually wasn't that long ago. Maybe two or three months ago when that ended. Maybe three or four. Uh, by the way, we're at the... Uh, Actually, this is probably... This looks really good. Hold on, I gotta admire this. Hold on, let's get up in the stands real quick. I remember this is one of the... This is a fun build. It was really, really tedious because of the painting. But that came out good. It's the uh, the farm bots were the... That was the, uh, the school name, or the school mascot at least. Uh, that's a cool little football field. And we got like a little safety card over there. 
All right, so I think oh, and we got to go on the tail end of the town here, or at least the back road here, and then we'll move out to the other section and try to make this somewhat brief. It's kind of hard to go through all this really quick. So I would like to continue Scrap Mechanic in some form or fashion until, you know, of course, Survival comes out, and then we'll probably jump into it a little bit more heavy there. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys, like, I, I don't forget. Like, I, I know... I know where the channel came from, and it's like not even a thing where a bunch of people are begging for Scrap Mechanic back. It's just something where it's like, hey, this is still a thing, I still acknowledge it, it's still there. Uh, by the way, this is an apartment building. This was probably one of my most proud moments in the town, the old town at least, uh, because this was a fairly early building, and as far as a look, uh, as far as the, I don't know if you want to see architecture of it, I really enjoyed this building, the way it looks. It's two apartment comp or two uh, apartment buildings or buildings or units. There you go, units. Uh, the left unit was fully furnished, and after every town episode, I don't know if many people remember this, I would uh, sit there and upload the the episode or and upload the uh, the map with the new updated building or whatever I did in the town. And this one, I was like, all right, you guys, the viewers, get the uh, the right apartment unit. So I left it pretty bare, put some boxes in there, made it look like somebody was moving in. And I wanted you guys to come in here and furnish this side. Uh, that way you can move into the town. Uh, there was so much potential with the town. I know a lot of things that people wanted to see were uh, multiplayer. Uh, and of course, Scrap Mechanic's got the weird limit. Like, the map gets so big, multiplayer basically doesn't work. Uh, some people will join into the world and they won't see any of the buildings. And so I know that was a thing that people always wanted to see. And trust me, I wanted to do it. Like, if we could sit there and find, even like hide and seek or something in here would have been amazing. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of one thing I wish we would have gotten to do uh, with the town. Now, you're looking at the hospital here. The hospital is a funny story. This is one of the first things me and Khan did together. And Khan built me an elevator. And you're going to come in here and see, well, this hospital is really bare. And funny story is, Khan built an elevator. Uh, it was a several story elevator. It would actually stop on floors. Had logic. It was before pistons. So it had like a weird uh, system with pipes under it. And I remember one day, I couldn't, actually I got into the town and I walked over here and half the elevator was on the other side of the glass and it was glitching. And I closed the map down and it crashed the map. Every time I would open it up, it would crash. So I had to go back and revert to another version of the town, and unfortunately I never got around to fixing the hospital. So that's a little unfortunate. There's a water tower, by the way. Uh, so yeah, come back over this way. We've got a McDonald's over here. These are actually, I wouldn't say recent, but not that far away. A GameStop, AT&T store. Let's go in the GameStop real quick. Uh, this is always kind of cool. Oh yeah. Yep, that's a GameStop. Got all the little boxes for the uh, different consoles. Ah, uh, that's kind of sweet. Oh boy. Nostalgia is real right now. That's pretty cool. So, anyways, uh, other games, other things that's happening with the channel, which by the way, we're going to hop into the uh, the classic car here. Uh, we're going to start driving. We need to get out to the, uh, the campground area, so we're going to take a detour here. Uh, oh, this thing's actually kind of fast. Okay. So... We'll still be doing a Scrap Mechanic on the channel. I don't know what it's going to be. I know a lot of people ask me, like, I guarantee you when I don't do Multiplayer Monday this Monday, I'll be like, well, why aren't you doing this? And it's just, you know, to take a little break. Uh, schedules just didn't really line up this week. Uh, it's not to say that I won't do it next week. Uh, you never know, really. So we're kind of here to the campground. I cannot drive. I'm like Tokyo drifting around the whole thing. All right, here we go. Uh, uh, there we go. So, we've addressed the scrap mechanic situation. What's going on there? Uh, if you want to discuss this further or you have any more suggestions, join the Discord down in the description below. But, let's move on to the other things. Uh, channel things. I get asked a lot about a face reveal. And a lot of people have been asking now that I've been doing some VR. And I'm under the mindset, or I like the VR channels that don't have the person on the screen. I like that. I like to see the gameplay. I don't really care to see the person flailing their arms with the with the headset on their head. It's just not me. I, I like to just watch the VR game. But you guys are still in luck. I have a 50k special that has my face on it. It is as beautiful as it gets. I guess you can say that somewhat. I actually watched it spike in views the other day because I mentioned it in a Tiny Town episode. And all of a sudden, in my top 25 viewed videos, that video was up there again. And I was like, what the heck? And I was like, oh yeah, I forgot I mentioned that. So let's get that spiking again. If you want to see my face, 50k special. Uh, we'll eventually get around to maybe doing some more special, special things for like subscriber specials. Not what we're doing here. 
Uh, maybe we'll do some vlog style things just for the uh, the milestone videos for subscribers, not like a normal thing. So we're out here at the uh, the campgrounds. You got a little uh, cabin here. You've got the annoying ceiling fan that is going off right now. You've got the watchtower. This was a fun area. I think this was right before the town conked out the first time because I actually had to take a break from this old town. And I had to come back to it after I went in and I uh, had to uh, adjust some things. We'll just call it that. Uh, I built the town the first time and it was very poor how I laid out things and put stuff into the ground and connected things. That I had to go through and spend, I think it was like a whole day cleaning up the town just to get the FPS acceptable enough to be able to play again. So that kind of gives you a little backstory uh, as to that, and why there's uh, and also why there's nothing out here because eventually the town conked out again, and we moved on to I think I think that was the time the underwater base came up. I'm almost 100% sure I think. So we're gonna go ahead and take a trip over to the airport in our sweet car. I'm gonna see if I can hop back up on the road and we'll drive through town. All right, so we're cruising through here, trying to get over to the airport. So uh, as far as new games, I've kind of gotten into like a really comfort zone with like the I would say six or seven games that I play. Uh, we've got really good things. Of course, Brick Rigs is the anchor game. When I say anchor game, that's the main game on the uh, the channel. It's the most viewed. I get the most interaction from it. We do the most multiplayer in it. Uh, so you've got that. We do quite a bit of Stormworks. That's uh, probably my second most popular game right now. Uh, I would say, hmm, third most popular game. That's a kind of a tough one. It really is. I would say it's between maybe Gmod... Uh, Beam and G Rec Fest, they're all kind of the same, it seems like, as far as popularity. Uh, one thing that's been actually really kicking into high gear is been the, uh, the VR, the Tiny Town. Uh, that's been really good. Uh, I know I've been, uh, doing that. I did the Police VR for a little bit, which I really want to do at least one more episode on Police VR, which, by the way, we're at the airport. Uh, the Police VR, and I don't want to speak for the developer, the, the, dev went silent and i don't know if something's going on you know it could be a personal matter uh but we haven't heard anything from the dev really in about a month uh maybe a little bit longer and it, it could be something simple it could be simply uh maybe having family issues something's going on so i don't know what that one's kind of up in the air i would love to play more of it i was hoping to get that new map but eh, it's uh kind of debatable if that's going to happen right now which by the way where the heck are the planes at huh <laughs> <laughs> has it been this long since we've been to Komodoville that everybody has picked up and left? Wow. It's kind of lonely out here. Okay. Well, I used to have like a private jet. That was a really popular episode. That's right when we started the airport, I believe. It was just really the runway. I think the, uh, the tower here, which by the way, we can go up into that. And then there was the private jet episode. Uh, pretty cool stuff. By the way, if you want to see any of the town episodes, I should have a town playlist, I believe. And, oh, that creeped me out. There's music playing up here. Anyways, as far as other games, uh, we've got quite a bit going on. Uh, this is definitely uh, not the same Komodo Gaming from 2016, where it was like, hey, we're going to play Scrap Mechanic, and that's it. Uh, we eventually, we in introduced uh, My Summer Car was a series we did. We did a little Beam and G back then, uh, before I kind of quit it, and then came back to it, of course, recently. Uh, this is kind of a view out here, is it not? That's kind of neat. Uh, let's hop down here. But anyways, if you guys have any new suggestions for games, let me know. I'm always open to suggestions. Uh, you guys are the reason the channel's grown like this. You guys are the reason I'm almost at 400k. It's kind of crazy. Like, looking back at this, I remember basically all of these episodes. I remember what I was almost doing, uh, where I was at maybe when I built this stuff. And just the thought that this was like when I was at right around 50k subs and that's what's crazy to me that we've grown that much since because this really isn't that long ago I mean we're not like a Fortnite channel where we've grown you know a million subs in a month but we've grown at a pretty I would say stable fast pace so I am thankful for that and that's why we're kind of revisiting this I'm not like watching an old Brick Rigs episode where we're watching kind of where this started and where my popularity, and I don't like saying that word, but where the channel started to gain momentum, basically, is what I'm saying. Uh, so, yeah, I thought we would brush back in here. Just remind you guys of Scrap Mechanic and the whole fact that it is not gone. Uh, there's several things that I'm waiting on. Survival would be one of them. Uh, maybe a new idea for a build or something. Uh, but this was nice. This, uh, my nostalgia feels, they've kind of cranked into overdrive here. I'm like, yeah, this is really cool. 
you know, kind of remember the the simple times before YouTube was a, a full-time gig and I'm doing two videos a day and, you know, collabing with people and all this other crazy stuff. So it's always nice to come back to stuff like this. Now, if you were a viewer uh, during the town, let me know down in the comment section below. Kind of let me know what you were doing, you know, what got you into the channel. Uh, I always think that's really cool uh, to hear stories like that. But anyways, I think it's going to about wrap it up. This was just something that I wanted to do. I have not actually, besides doing my normal fun videos, I've not really talked. Uh, talked about the channel in a long time. I don't remember the last channel update we really did, to be honest with you. Uh, it's been a while. I used to do like milestone videos every like 50k uh, subs or something. And like we never did anything for 300k. I never said anything really besides, hey, we made it to 300k and probably won't for 400k, maybe 500k. If you guys have any ideas for milestone videos, let me know down in the comment section below. But it just was nice to get out here, talk about a couple of things, address a couple of things, including Scrap Mechanic. And just really thank you guys for all the love and support because it has been amazing. I can't tell you like, you know, some days YouTube can be really, really stressful and you just think, wow, what am I doing? What am I getting myself? into why am I spending this amount of hours doing it but then you realize that I, I think this is probably one of the best jobs in the world to have like I couldn't be uh, happier with the job itself uh, with how things are going and just you know overall like this is just awesome I get paid to play video games you know kind of promote them to you guys to interact with you guys it's just it's awesome and I can't be uh, thankful enough really so uh, if we want any more communication, join the Discord down below. Uh, we'll talk about some more things there. Thank you guys for everything. We're going to wrap it up here. Uh, it was nice seeing the town once again. You never know. Maybe there will be a town 3.0, 4.0, 5. I don't know what number we're on, actually. But I know this is 1.0. So, <laughs> anyways, hope you guys have a great day. And we will see you guys next time in Scrap Mechanic.